So I have this friend who called me up and he said, listen, I'm going to propose to my girl and I need your help. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, oh, I've never been part of a proposal before. This could be really exciting, you know? So he's like, here's the help I need. One of my really close friends owns a very well-known East Village club. I mean, not well-known, like it's not famous in, in the world, but it's well, it's known here in New York. It's a East Village club. It's small. It's a music club. And, you know, people, famous people have started their careers there, you know, way back in the day. It's one of those, no one, no one really big plays there now because it's just way too small. Mm -hmm. But it's very charming. It's very sweet. And my friend runs it. So um, this dude, George, that I know called me. He's like, I want to propose to my girlfriend there. Um, that's where we met. And I thought it would be just really cool. Plus, you know, right now it's COVID. The club is closed. So, you know, I'll pay him whatever just for like, I don't know, an hour, whatever, whatever it cost him to open it for the evening. I don't even do anything. I can do all that. I'll work everything out with him. They're and, not open uh, anyway, though, are they? I mean, they're not bringing no. people in, so it's just sitting there anyway. It's just sitting there anyway, empty. Okay. Yeah, because you can't. So in New York here, so far, there's no concert venues open. Right. And, uh, you know, and my friend that owns it has found other uses for it over time. So it's not like it's just completely sitting empty. But, mm. you know, he's not using it for music, obviously. So because they met there, he came up with this idea that he wants to propose to her there. He got in touch with their family and their closest, closest friends, of which I am not. I'm not one of his closest friends. I, I'm the girl you call to hook. Uh, can you hook me up? But mm -hmm. I wasn't going to be there or anything. So here's what he did. So he decides he's going to propose to her there. He has this whole speech, this whole thing that he's doing. He gets her best friends, his best friends, her family, his family. Everybody gets COVID tests. Everybody quarantines. So that way they can all be in the same room and everyone's fine. You know, the parents and grandparents have all had vaccinations anyway so that's mm -hmm. fine and and strangely enough uh, her family works in the healthcare industry so a whole bunch of them have already gotten their vaccination so they were totally cool with it he's planning this whole thing it's a really really big thing to plan it's big i mean everyone's local people coming in from like new jersey it's not like they're coming in from you know acapulco or anything mm. so he's got this whole thing planned and it's all going to go down this saturday night OK, that's the whole thing. Saturday night, he's got the club book. That's the whole thing. So I get this text from him today. He said, uh, I think I think my cover's blown and then some. Mm -hmm. She texts. She says to him, he texts me. She goes, is there a diamond in this house somewhere? Like she's kind of figured out that he's up to something and she's assuming it's, you know, pr a proposal. Mm -hmm. Is there a diamond in the house somewhere? And then later she's like, is my ring here? If it's here, you have to give it to me. And she's relentless. So he's texting me the whole time. He's like, she's asking if the ring is here. You know, what do I do? What do you think? I was like, make something up, like swerve, like just, you know, tell her to chill. Just make up a story. Just, you know. Does she know she's going to get a ring at some point? Has she picked out a ring or is she just thinking she's going to get a ring? They've discussed getting engaged at some point. She doesn't know it's this Saturday night mm -hmm. and he bought her a ring. No, no, not bought her. Sorry. It's a family heirloom that he had to have sized. So don't even get me started on how we had to figure out what her ring size was. Like that was its own drama. Everything in this guy's life is drama, by the way. Mm -hmm. Like nothing. At the minute he the minute he texted me, I was like, oh, now what? You know, so she's then I hear nothing for like an hour. Apparently he spent an hour being hounded by her. Like she was relentless. She was like, if you're going to propose, I want to be prepared. What are you doing? When are you doing it? Is there a ring in this house? She's she's like not letting it go. So finally, he said he texted me. He's like, she here's, here's the text. She was super excited. She just knew somehow. So I broke down and proposed right there in the privacy. Oh, of home. no. Proposed right there. Yeah. <sighs> so. Yeah. So then he has to tell her about this big grand gesture that he's paid a ton of money for yeah we've already bought and paid for bought and paid for it's or it's a done deal it's this saturday it's a couple days away so it's it's happening it's mm -hmm. happening and then they have all these family and friends who have gotten covid tested and agreed to quarantine for this thing okay so she says to him um well let's, let's just do it and i'll act surprised <laughs> <laughs> like Christmas present <laughs> when you already know right. about the Christmas present. Right. Exactly. It's like. Mm, no, 
You, <sighs> you you tell everybody that the cat's out of the bag. If you still want to come to the party, I'm going to have an open bar and we're just going to celebrate. But the cat's out of the bag. Yeah. She she's that, a complete yeah. bitch, and uh, <laughs> uh, you know you know her because you're related to her, so you completely understand what happened. But she's a nightmare, and she made me ask. Who me? I'm not related to her. No, I'm saying the other people know. Oh, that, the, oh, I see. So the other people like, that are like coming, her mom all, and dad know right. that she's a pain in the ass, so oh, they saying. they can yeah. understand. Yeah, right. They wouldn't be surprised because she's and, you know, who's relentless like that when you know you're getting proposed to just, you know, ixnay on the appraisal spay, whatever the hell you say in big Latin. Just, mm. you know, shut the f- up, basically. Just let, let it happen. Let him do it. Should they go ahead with the proposal and they'll just fake it and it'll be a surprise for everybody else who went out of their way and all the money he spent and all this stuff. I mean, should they just go? And fake a proposal. No, I think you send a group text and you say, uh, I, I broke down. Right. I asked her. She's got the ring now. Join yeah. us Saturday for a big party. For an engagement party. Yeah. So we're just going to have a party. We're going to have free drinks. If you want to come, fine. If you don't, I completely understand. But you will be in- invited to the wedding. But as of right now, right. if you want to hang out at the club, fine. Right. I just, you know, that would have been kind of fun for everybody to be there, you know, during the proposal. But no one's a good enough actor. I don't care if they even think that they mm-hmm. are. You know, I have, so my boyfriend, and I have this thing that we do during the day. You know how we have the, like our game show moments. Um, so we've moved on from concentration. We're bored of that. Now we watch a show <laughs> called The Chase. OK. And we're obsessed. So on The Chase, which is a it's a trivia show, whatever. Some guy decides to propose to his girlfriend right there on the show. Mm. And they bring the girlfriend out under the pretense of, you know, you're going to help him with whatever the heck is going on on the show. And then he gets down on one knee and she's stone faced. Like, she's just like, it's so obvious that that she knew this was coming. It was not a surprise. She's not a good. She's not an actress. Mm. So when he said, will you marry me? She was like, yes. It was like, bitch, if you're happy, let your face know it. Well, like she's they just, had to they had to clear that with the producers before that even happened. That's what I'm saying. So at least act surprised. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it, okay. So if you know about it, which you clearly do, just act surprised. Let us all be in the moment. Instead, it was like, "Will you marry me?" Yes. You disturb my show for that. Mm-hmm. What, what did I just watch? I just watched what? That was so stupid. I, I want to watch the game. That's why I'm here. I, I'm not. I don't care about you proposing. I don't want to see that. It's like when I go to a basketball game and they stop the basketball game because the guy wants to propose. Stop it. Do that at home. No, I don't mind if they want to stop the basketball game as long as it's genuine. I want to see her. (gasps) Mm -hmm. (laughs) I want to see that. That was pretty good. I know. <laughs> I, I fake a lot of things. <laughs> See, you have it all down for when Joe asks you to marry him. You can you can have that. No, I think that's a huge surprise if Joe asked you right now. <laughs> that would be a huge surprise. <laughs> Actually, our joke has been because we you know we do not want to get married. Mm. What I said to him like when we first got together, we discussed the fact that neither one of us wanted to be married, and then he said, you know, I feel like people meet and then after like a year they get engaged and get married like what are you celebrating a year old relationship that's what you're celebrating that sounds stupid he's like i could see getting engaged after like 10 years of being together like that makes more sense so as a joke i said great on our 10 year anniversary if you want to pop the question which is I won't, probably I won't. coming up this year no it well it just passed oh. <laughs> it just passed and i was i was shaking in my boots all day i was calling friends i was like i hope he's not like remembering that conversation because mm-hmm. i don't want to get married like i don't want to do it's it's bad enough we live together <laughs> but i just you know i love him he's awesome he's my boyfriend he's my guy but i don't want to ruin our relationship by getting married i'm just one of those people that i just if you can give me a really good reason why i should be married i'll be happy to do it but i just i can't find a good enough well, you reason can be to- engaged you don't have to be married. But what? You could, Why even be engaged? I don't know. I'm I'm saying if if that was the ten year thing, give you a skull ring and then right. uh, you know just say we're engaged. No, luckily the day came and went, and there was no talk of it whatsoever. There was no mention of the ten year conversation. Mm. So, and our joke since then has been that if he gets down on one knee to propose, it means our relationship's over. And, and my response would be, 
what did I do? And, and pick up whatever you dropped on the floor while you're down exactly. there. Exactly. While you're down there, your socks are there. <laughs> while you're down there, <laughs> mop the floor and clean that up because... <laughs> there's, some, there's some dog spittle and some underwear if you want to mind picking that up on your way up. I would never have the balls to ask somebody to marry me unless I know 1,000% they're going to say yes. Yeah. You know, I'm not doing it in public. I, you know, my fear is that girl going, uh, no. Ah, uh, right. great. Now what? How about all those, yeah, like all those awkward public proposals where the girl says no. How many times have you seen that? Where she's like, um, can I think about it? She's going to embarrass him on national television. Right. Well, the, and the bad thing is, is they probably didn't take separate cars to get there. <laughs> <laughs> They're still in the same car driving home. Right. And you're going, uh, yeah, where, where, where should I drop you off at? <laughs> that, that would be so, so no, I'm not doing that in public. Uh, yeah. not going to happen. Right, unless you have separate cars or one of you is willing to be to call an Uber. Or we know 100% she's going to say yes because we've right. already picked out the ring, she sized it, she's all ready for it. Then I can do it. But uh, anything else, not going to happen. I'm amazed by people that propose without... That happened to me once. I had a boyfriend that... I wasn't that serious about him. I just... He was my boyfriend. I just... You know, he was awesome. I liked him. We didn't live together or anything. He had his life. I had mine. And there was one day that I was... I was a bartender at the time. And I was just, it was the worst weather. It was, I came in, it was a storm. My hair was like stuck to my face. My makeup was running. The bar was packed. It was a crazy night. It was just, I was running up and down. I was exhausted. The other bartender didn't come in till late. So I was like, st- it was it was one of the worst nights I ever had bartending. And he had come in to hang out, which he did, he did that once in a while. He came in to like have a beer and like the Sam Mitch or something because we mm. had food there too, you know. And uh, the night finally calmed down. And he calls me over and he takes my hand and he freaking proposes to me. At the bar at your job? At the, bar, at the bar at my job while my wet hair is like clinging to my face. You know, it's like, I'm sorry, I'm not a romantic person, hmm. but, you know, a woman waits her entire life for that one proposal, for that moment, you know? And at the time I was like 24. So I was, at the time I was thinking, like, this better be a big proposal. You know, I need like a whole thing. Hmm. Um, you know, the fact that he proposed just while I was it were just stinking. What did you say? Bar gunk. What did I say? I said, Are you fing kidding me? Did you really? Yeah. I said, is, I said, is this real? He said, Yeah, I just as I was watching you work and run up and down, I was realizing just how much I loved you and that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with you and I just But that's perfect. And would you marry me? And I said, No. Oh, I was like, I'm 24. I'm not marrying anybody. I'm t- what? No, that's a perfect reason just to I, no. spring it and say, yeah, let's do it. No, you look, it was awkward. You it was look awkward hot because, to me. Yeah, which was awesome. I mean, I guess if he was somebody that I really loved and was really into, that would have been amazing. Hmm. But, you know, I got to say, once you propose and the answer is no, that's it. That relationship's over. Oh, There's yeah. No he's got to go home then. He's got to. That's what happened. I mean, yeah, it was it. It was over after that. And I, he's like. Do we keep dating? I was like, obviously not. That's a rom com. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's right. the the end of a movie where a guy sees the the girl running around looking her worst and falls deeply in love and says, Ugh. "Marry me." Ugh, how corny! <laughs> but I'm saying that's a great movie, <laughs> and you said, "No." Yeah. Other women would have been like, "That's the most romantic thing I ever." Of course, yes. Yeah, I no. guarantee you left, went back behind the bar, and talked shit about him all night long. All night long. <laughs> all night long. And probably <laughs> hooked up with three other guys. <laughs> um, I actually, it's funny you would say that because there was a guy that I kind of had hanging in the wings, mm. and I was like, you know, when I when, once I dumped this one, I got another one. So I was like, you know what? I'm not waiting. So I. I called him that night and I was like, hey. <laughs> Tonight's your night. <laughs> Tonight's your night. I got proposed to and said no. Yeah. I pulled your number. So come on, let's go. <laughs> your turn. <laughs> what you no, that was a two o'clock. What you doing? You, you up? <laughs> it was two no, it was I was oh, closing Of the bar. course. <laughs> so obviously it was actually it was later than two. <laughs> yeah. You up? What you doing? Can right. I come over? Yeah. Uh, no, and he showed up. He showed up at the bar. He was driving. It was funny because, like, New York City, nobody had a car, but this guy had a red pickup truck. Came to get me in his red pickup truck. I was like, "Buddy, this is your lucky night." No. Oh. 